Hello everybody, so today I'm going to be showing you this beginner's gel kit that I found on Amazon. This is the Beatles gel starter kit and I paid $49.99 for this and it comes with everything you need to do gel nails, which I think is a really good price. So it comes with an instruction manual as well as this little pouch that contains all the nail items that you need. So it comes with the pedicure toe separators, a buffer, and a nail file. And this is a 100 slash 180 grit nail file. It comes with a brush, so you can brush off any powder or dust from filing. It also comes with a cuticle pusher, so you can make sure to push your cuticles back before you start. It comes with a nail clipper. This is some cuticle oil that you can use after you finish with your nails. It says this is a cuticle tool, but I wouldn't use it on my cuticles. I will always use that for hangnails. And lastly, it comes with a nail brush in the little pouch. So next in this kit is the base coat and two top coats. So this kit comes with a glossy top coat and a matte top coat. And the foundation is just the base gel. This kit comes with six colors and I picked the more spring summer color option but there are different color options that you can get so color 146 is kind of a neon medium pink 145 is more of a fuchsia pink One forty seven is a light neon pink. Color one forty eight is a lavender. Color 149 is a purple glitter polish. And the last color, 150, is a medium purple color. And lastly, this kit comes with a UV light. And it's pretty big. You can stick your whole hand in the light. And it also comes with different settings. So it has an on off button on the top, as well as a 30, 60, and 120 second setting. So once you press the setting that you want at the top, all you have to do is stick your hand in the light and it will automatically come on. And when you remove your hand, it will turn off. So I've already pushed back my cuticles and I'm just filing my nails to the, to the length I want them to be. And I'm also going to lightly file the top of my nails to remove any shine. This will help the gel manicure last longer. I'm taking this dehydrator by Nail Tech, and this is just basically alcohol and it's going to also remove any extra oils that I have on my nails. 
And if you have a primer, you can apply that as well, but I don't have one currently. So I'm gonna start off with the foundation or the base gel. I'm gonna apply this to all my nails and then I'm going to put my nails in the light for 60 seconds. So I'm taking the color 148, this light purple, and I'm going to apply one coat to all of my nails. I'm very, being very careful not to get it on my skin. If you get any polish on your skin, you want to remove it before you cure it in the UV light or you won't be able to remove it later and it will cause your manicure to lift. I'm removing any polish that gets on my skin with the cuticle pusher. So you can see this so you can see that this color is pretty opaque. It looks pretty good after just one coat, but I'm still going to apply two coats of the polish. So I cured that first coat for 120 seconds just to be sure that it was completely dry because I read some of the reviews and it says that you kind of need to leave it in a little bit longer than what the instructions say. And now I'm applying the second coat of the polish to all my nails and again being very careful not to get any on my skin. And then I'm going to cure that again for 120 seconds. So I'm taking color 608 and 605 from another's from another Beatles gel kit that I got and I'll be doing on a video on that one soon after I post this video. But I'm going to be mixing those two colors together to make a green polish. And I'm also taking color 145 from this kit and it's one of the pink colors and I'm going to be applying those randomly on my nails to make some flowers. Initially, I started drawing the flower design while the light pink circles were still wet. So the colors kind of blend together. And I think this looked okay. If you do it this way, you need to cure it before you add the leaves, which is not what I did. So I ended up messing the design, so I had to wipe it off. But the good thing about gel polish is if it's not cured, you can wipe it off very easily and it's not gonna mess up the color underneath. So as you can see, as I rotate my finger from left to right, the flowers are starting to merge together. So yeah, I messed up the design. So basically I just started over 
and this time I cured the light pink circles before I started drawing the flower design and I'm just taking a thin nail art brush and just drawing random circular lines to make them look like roses and after I'm done with this I'm going to cure it in the lamp between 60 and 90 seconds And I'm just going to repeat that same process on my other finger, just drawing random circular lines to make roses. After I've cured the roses, I'm now going to go back with those two colors I mixed together, the pink and the yellow, to make a green. If you already have a green gel polish color, you don't have to mix it, but I didn't have one. So I'm just drawing little leaves in between the flowers. I'm taking my makeup brush and I'm cleaning up any gel polish that has gotten on my skin and then I'm just going to place it in the nail lamp for 120 seconds to cure. Now I'm going to apply my top coat over all of the nails and I'm using the glossy top coat for this design and I'm going to cure under the nail lamp for 120 seconds again. Then I'm taking the cuticle oil that's come with this kit and I'm just going to apply that around my nails. And this is what the final design looks like. It's a cute rose manicure. So I also wanted to quickly show you what the rest of the colors that come in this kit look like. So I've already applied one coat of each of the colors. This is 145. It's that fuchsia color. 146 is a bright medium pink color. Color 147 is a light pink color and this one took three coats to get completely opaque. Color 149 is the purple glitter polish and this also took three coats and this was this one was kind of hard to apply evenly but it's pretty opaque after three coats and color 150 is the medium purple and this applied in just two coats So this is what the colors look like with the glossy top coat. And on my index finger, you can see that I applied the matte top coat just so you can see what that looks like. So that's it for this video. If you're interested in purchasing this beginner gel kit, check out the description box. I'll leave a link below. So don't forget to like if you like the video and subscribe to see more videos from me. I'll talk to you later. Bye.